Have you ever seen a function in code without the brackets after it, like this? Well, you might have wondered, what's the difference between referencing a function with brackets and referencing a function without brackets, like in this example? Well, in today's video, we're gonna go over the difference between these two statements, and we're gonna talk about something called first-class functions. Today's video is gonna be in TypeScript, but this ability to reference functions without the brackets actually exists in all of these programming languages here. And the technical name for this is first class function. The phrase first class means that you can do everything to a function that you can do to any other object or type in a programming language. So you can pass it around as an argument, you can return it from another function, and you can assign it to a variable. So let me show you an example. Here we have a function that just takes in two arguments and returns the sum of both of them. We've given a name to this function, so my awesome function. Now, as you probably know, you can execute this function by writing brackets after the function name like this. Here we're executing the my awesome function with the two arguments four and five, and we're assigning the result of that function, which will be a number, into a variable called x. So if we hover over this variable in VS Code, you can see that x is gonna be a number. Well, because in JavaScript, functions are first-class citizens, we can actually assign the function itself to that variable. So if instead of calling it with these arguments, we were to just do x equals my awesome function, you can see that that works. And this is TypeScript, so if this wasn't gonna work, then TypeScript would give us an error or something. But no, this is perfectly fine. And if we hover over this variable now, we can see that instead of being a number, it's actually a function. This syntax here is the TypeScript syntax for a function signature. So what we've done here is we've created a variable that instead of pointing to a string or a number, it points to a function. And we can pass this variable around, we can assign it to another variable, and we can execute it with brackets like this. So by typing x open bracket and then the arguments, we can call the function that this variable points to and we can get the result. Another thing we can do with this x variable is we can send it as an input to another function like this here. Here my other function is a function that I've declared up at the top of this file that takes in a function as its argument. Remember that TypeScript signature that we saw when we hovered over the variable x? Well this is the same signature that I've declared here. So we've written a function that takes in another function, executes it, and then returns the result. Now there's a lot of uses for being able to do this, but generally it can help you to abstract certain parts of your code out. So let's say for example, you had a bit of code that was filtering an array like this. Now we might want to reuse this code, but with a different actual function to do the filtering. So here we're filtering for numbers above five. Well, what if we wanted to filter to numbers above 10? Well, because this Lambda expression here is also a function, then as long as we stick to the same signature, we can pass in any function we like including one that's stored in a variable. So let's create a function that says is above five and that'll return true or false. And then we can create another function that says is above 10. Now down here in our code, we can create a variable, let's call it filtering function. And then we can assign the variable to one of these two filtering functions. And then we can pass the variable into our filter. So we've taken advantage of the first class functions concept here by passing our function around and treating it like any other variable. So have a think about how you can take advantage of this nature of functions in your code. Is there a way you can make some of your code more readable or more extensible by referencing functions indirectly like this through the use of variables? If you have any ideas, then put them in the comment section below this video. I'd love to hear how you use this first class functions concept in your code. And as ever, if you've learned something, then please subscribe to the channel for more coding tips, for guides, sample projects to help you on your software development journey. My name is James Charlesworth, and I'll see you next time.